I feel like I have ideas running through my head like all the time and not enough time to really accomplish everything. I find inspiration, I guess, all around me. It's easy to find things I want to paint. Time is the problem. <laughs> As an artist, you're sitting in your studio and you're painting and you don't know how we always know how they're going to affect somebody else. And that's what I think every artist, you know, strives to have happen to them is somebody connects with your work and it could be on a totally different level than you would expect. And I think that uh, that's just great for an artist to connect with people that way. called Three Chimneys. Um, and uh, I just love the way the composition is kind of laid out. These three uh, large rock formations, it looks like it's kind of on a hill and there's a group of uh, trees right in front of it. Um, I just was attracted to the composition. 11 years ago, I was inspired by an artist in California. Um, she kind of challenged people nationwide to do 30 paintings in 30 days. They always have themes. Usually they're places I've lived and the thought of it at first was kind of intimidating. It seemed like a lot to do uh, in a short amount of time and to be, you know, working for 30 days, you kind of have to put everything off to the side and just, you know, focus on that. And every year I kind of tell myself, well, like the last few years, I'm like, oh, maybe I won't do it. You know, uh, you know, it's kind of a lot of pressure to put on yourself. Um, but I have a lot of people who follow me um, and to look forward to it as well. For 2024, I did Milwaukee. My first one was the Alan Bradley Clock Tower. And I was inspired to do that one first uh, because of Mrs. Bradley and all the paintings that she had uh, collected and donated. You know, and of course I had to touch on the breweries in, in Wisconsin. Uh, I didn't know what Tide House meant. The breweries were tied to little bars uh, in communities. It's incredible what you find uh, when you, you know, dig into a subject matter. Yeah, and I just kind of went around to places that I would see often or drive by often, uh, the ladybugs and then the historic Third Ward Market. We are always eating at St. Paul's Fish Company. The Kite Festival, you know, that's really magical to see all those great big uh, kites in the sky uh, and all the families that gather there. So uh, just a lot of my, my favorite places. I lived in New York and I worked in Manhattan and we lived there for a couple of years and I really loved that experience. You know, it was just like a playground for an artist to go and see what people were doing. And it was very exciting for me as a young, uh, you know, 22 year old to be right in the middle of that. Most of these pictures are from when I lived there in the 80s. At lunchtime, I went to Ray's Original Pizza, probably uh, three out of five days a week to get a slice. These newspaper stands were everywhere. Before I'd get on the, the subway, you know, sometimes you'd grab uh, the Daily News. And then uh, Pearl Paint is a huge art store in the village. I think it's like six floors, and it's just floors and floors of art supplies. So I was in Madison um, in the 80s, the early 80s. I have a degree uh, or a Bachelor of Fine Arts from Madison. It was a really great time to be at Madison in the 80s if you were an artist. It's a beautiful place, just like New York. Um, it's got lots of old established places that have been there for years. Paul's Bookstore is still on State Street in its same location. I just love to capture those places that have existed through the times. You know, even though this is a pretty basic photograph, you know, just printed on a printer, I see uh, pinks, uh, peaches, uh, lavenders, blue. And, you know, I grab colors kind of intuitively, I guess. 
I don't know exactly how that works, but you know, somehow my mind is talking to my hands. Pewaukee Area Arts Council, this is Ann. Yeah, um, I work for the Pewaukee Area Arts Council. Um, we're a nonprofit. Um, we're based in Lake Country. Um, even though our name is Pewaukee Area Arts Council, we service all of Lake Country. And we do a lot of uh, community work and outreach work. We give out scholarships. Um, one of my favorite things that I, I do is I coordinate community projects. We bring arts to all different people, from young people to seniors. Um, we're trying to spread the word and um, you know keep art in the community. I've got a lot of artwork and I hope that it speaks to different people. I hope that people appreciate art as much as I appreciate being able to make it. You know, whether you're traveling or in your own town, I hope that people finding places where people are creating and exploring what art is all about. A friend of mine said that I, I brought her down to my studio and there's not a lot of natural light down here. I kept on saying to her, oh, I need to find, you know, a better space, more light. She goes, and you create your own light in your paintings, um, you know, with your color. They're bright, uh, they're happy. Um, and that's kind of the overwhelming response I get. No matter what I'm painting, I'm always happy when I do it. So the effort is worth it. Thanks for watching the Arts Page. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more stories of art in our community.